Hi guys, Speedy Boy here. Welcome back to another video. Today it's Albion Rovers vs Stunning Albion here at the Clifton Hill Stadium. Well, last week was a disappointing week for Stunning Albion. 3 0 down at half time, a home to rival Stenhouse Muir. Dylan Bikey managed to get a consolation goal back, but we lost 3 1 and dropped down to third in the table. But hopefully we can get a win today against Albion Rovers here at Clifton Hill. Another away win would be really nice. We only lost once away from home all season, and that was away to Annan on match day three. Well, a few fair familiar faces for Albion Rovers today. Here's the programme first of all. The familiar faces include Cami Binney, Chris Smith, Alden El Zubadi, David Wilson and Max Wright. Max Wright, I remember, I remember he came in, I thought, oh, what a great signing. They did an score once for us. It wasn't very good. So, our score prediction for this will be Stunning Albion 1, Albion Rovers 0. I've never seen Stunning Albion concede here. So, hoping for a good result. Come on, the beams. Chance. Big chance early on for Stunner Albion. What a ball in from Nathan Flanagan. Jack Leach with the header. Yeah, either corner that was in, but it's a good save from Cammy Binney nonetheless. Stays at 0 0. for Albion Rovers. It's a brilliant finish. I mean brilliant finish. I think it's bobbled up over Blair Curry and into the back of the net. And Albion Rovers take the, take the lead from the corner. Nothing happened. Carrick headed it away. A shot blocked. And then to the edge of the box. He's put into the back of the net. Albion Rovers won something Albion nil. So the aim it's on the clock, penalty still on Albion. Dale Carrigan latches on to a ball played through from Curtis Roberts, hitting hope from Roberts. But it's brilliant. But the penny takes him down inside the area. Referee points to the spot. Big lifeline for Stunning Albion to get back into this game. I was recording it and I had it, I had my phone on full, full zoom. I thought he'd scored. But he missed. Yes, Kyle. 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 Yes, Ky
Albion over one, stunning Albion nil. It's been a cagey affair so far um, here at Clifton Hill. He's really only, there's Dale Carrick has had started Albion's best chance of the game and he fluffed it, put it wide of the post in the penalty. Well, the last twice I've been here, it finished 3 0 for Stunning Albion and 5 0 for Stunning Albion. Um, I've never seen Stunning Albion seat here, but in the 26th minute, Kyle Doherty made it 1 0 to Albion Rovers, and that is what separates the teams at half time. Um, just here, just where I'm standing. Here. Getting up close and personal with the players. So Kyle Barra make a good slide tackle and Declan Byrne, another former Beano, uh, right in front of me. It was, really, it was good to see because uh, Kyle Barra is very good at defending. So at half time here at Clifton Hill, it is Albion Rovers 1, stunning Albion Bell. Flanagan should have scored. Still on Albion winning the ball back high at the pitch. Lovely disguised ball from Curtis Roberts into, into Nathan Flanagan. All sorts of time left that side of the box, but fires it straight at Cammy Burry. Still on Albion also had uh, the corner. I, I think it was in because uh, the way the, the players fell back. The score remains 1 0. Come on, the Beatles, let's keep getting, let's keep pressing. <laughs> And the Albion Rovers captain, number two, has been sent off. That's not his name, it's just his number. Uh, he's been sent off after handbags over there. I had, to, I, had to do, I had to do some squats, didn't I? I can't see because of the crossbar. But he's been sent off. Albion Rovers down to ten, that's the right back away. Hopefully, hopefully now we can go on. And that's Daniel Scally and Sean Heaver just come on. Cummins has just been given his marching orders. The late Charlie's just stopped the breakaway. Cynical foul. And he's been sent off. It's 10 versus 10. Still, how we need to need have like a chance. Oh, oh, oh. Finished 1 0 for Albion Rovers. First time I've ever seen Stone Albion lose here or concede here. It was a very frustrating performance in the end, two big chances missed. But that defines games, two red cards. Yeah, Adam Cummins with a second yellow and Albion Rovers number two with a straight red. 
Well, man of the match for Stunner Albion. Uh, we'll be number 10, Jack Leach. Thought he played really well today. Uh, I think he might be playing left back towards the end of the game. And uh, Albion Rovers get their, their first win over Stunner Albion this season. We beat them 2-1 at Fort Bank earlier in the season. It's disappointing after a full time here at Clifton Hill. Stunning Albion nil, Albion Rovers 1. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.